It's a great question. Why were so many nobles okay with being knights? Because it just seems crazy to ride straight into an enemy army. Well, there are two parts of this question that need to be answered. The first part, considering the warfare aspect, was that it was actually quite rare for a force of knights to just charge headlong into an enemy force directly. Generally speaking, you do not want to charge into a braced enemy front because, well, they're prepared for you. Most medieval and ancient warfare specifically relied on skirmishers going into battle first, firing off missiles at each other, followed by infantry moving up to hold the enemy in place, and then cavalry going around the flanks to attack the enemy from the rear in hammer and anvil tactics. The battles that oftentimes first happened was that as the infantry were fighting each other, the cavalry would fight on the flanks, and whoever won on the flanks is usually the one that would end up winning the battle, because then the cavalry could go past and attack the enemy from the rear. The second part of the question regarding why they were willing to do this in the first place is simply because they kind of had to. Being a noble meant that you had to fight for the country, and if you didn't fight, well, you could lose everything.